Welcome back to episode four of the Rail Betsy save. And things have gone okay, not perfect. Let's run the intro and then let's get into it. So let's start by talking about transfers and Sydney is one of the first players out of the club. 5.25 million going to Real Sociedad. He actually came and complained that he wasn't getting enough game time. So it was it was not really a choice. We had to move him on. Bit of a shame. He was a good backup. Would have liked to have kept him. Aysa Mandy has left. This one I'm really, really gutted about. He kicked off because he wasn't playing and he's gone to... BSC young boys in Switzerland. I would have liked to have kept him. I think he's a really, really good player. He can play across the back three as well. Really versatile. But didn't get enough games for us. I don't like to change a winning team, especially not in the defence. So he's gone to young boys for 4.2 million. And finally, Loren has gone to Red Bull Salzburg. 6.5 million, rising to 8 million, I believe. Again, just didn't really get a game for us. Played once. I think he played a couple in the cup as well. Never scored. No big loss, really. So looking at the ins then, Hector Herrera, the Mexican midfielder, coming in from Atletico Madrid on loan. Really, really well-rounded player. Really good in anything that we want him to do in central midfield. Really good player in the roles that we want to do in central midfield. So box-to-box, Mazzala. He's already had a couple of games and he's got a goal already, so... It's looking like a good signing. And then two backup centre-backs. Chema has come in from Hetafe on loan. Average player. Probably won't play much. Might get the odd game here and there. And Romero Funes Mori. The former Everton man coming in on loan from Villarreal. Again, a bit more of a decent player. But he's still a backup. So he probably won't play too much. And that brings us on to the fixtures then. So the game away at Valladolid. 2-1 win. That was the last time you were here. That was followed up by a 2-2 draw against Alaves, who took a 2-0 lead. Both goals coming from Davison. We had to come back. Castrovilli and Joaquin off the bench, saving us, getting a point. Next up was the away game at Rayo in the Copa del Rey. First round. Christian Teo with two. Romario Barro with one as well. 3-1 win. Easy peasy. We followed that up with a 0-0 draw away at Granada. And then this. Real Madrid 2, Real Betis 2, Real Madrid 1. Our most amazing result of the season. We'll have a look at the goals. So here's the first one coming in. Kyle George scoring from the Fakia corner. Lovely header. Alberto Moreno heavily involved again. Kyle George with the second. Real Madrid did pen us back. Luka Modric with a lovely pass through to Di Maria. But that is how it ended. Betis 2, Madrid 1. We then followed that up with a defeat away at Real Sociedad. Alexander Isak was unbelievable in this game, scoring a hat-trick within 35 minutes. We did come back a little bit. Fakia got one, Bergwijn got another, but it wasn't enough on the day. Next up was the Sevilla derby. Let's have a watch of this. It all started pretty poorly. Koundé with a lovely header from his corner. We penned them back, though. Castrovilli played it into Lainez. Great ball to Fakia, 1-1. Sergio Canales stepped up for a penalty to make it 2-1 just before half-time. And then it was all Betis. Moreno with a great ball. Kyle George with another goal, making it 3-1. Svia gave us something to think about. Another one from a corner. Very fortunate goal. Victor Ruiz, own goal. And then finally, Emerson's ball to Teo. Good cut across. Kyle George, maybe a little bit of a deflection. But he's four, Sevilla two. <laughs> Next up, extra Majora away. We rested a few players. And when I say a few, we changed the entire team. And we were beaten 6 0. As you can see by the stats, they had seven shots on target, six of them hitting the back of the net. We only managed three shots all game. So we're out of the cup. The less said about that, the better. Then we had Levante, and we were 2-0 down within 12 minutes, coming back to win 4-2, much like the Sevilla game. And then Villarreal was the last game that we played at home. Danny Parejo putting them in front from a penalty five minutes in. Bergwijn and Teo bringing us back 
to win that one. That brings us on to two games today. So we start away at Celta Vigo before the home game against Barcelona. One of the biggest concerns I've got is defensively. If we look at this run here, Cadiz, Hetafe, and Elche, three clean sheets, everything was going swimmingly. But since then, we've only kept one clean sheet away at Granada. Everything else has been one, two goals, three goals, six goals. Defensively, we've been poor, and that needs to change. So we've only made a very, very slight change to the team defensively, but we've put Mark Barcher as a cover defender rather than just normal defend. That means he'll run in behind. If the if the ball goes in behind, he'll run, pass Ruiz, and try and clear it. It seems to work a little bit better, but again, we haven't really kept any clean sheets, so there's not much to talk about. The other issue we've had is kind of fitting in for Kia. He's our best player, obviously. His most natural position is to play in attack and midfield, so that's where I want to play him. But I don't think Canales can do the job deeper. He needs to really be an attacking player, so we've sort of been playing this with Teo, Fakir, and Bergwijn across the three. It's just something that we need to think about, really. Anyway, enough talking. Let's dive into this game. Celta Vigo away. Oh, before we do that, let's look at the league table. So as you can see, Betis, with a game in hand on Valencia and Atletico, which is the game that we're playing today, can't go... Well, they'll go into second, but we're level on games in terms of Barcelona. So this is a huge one, really, for us to break into the top four for the first time this season. A lot of pressure on the team. They need to win today because next up it's Barcelona, and anything could happen in that one, let's be realistic. Go out there and give these fans their money's worth, I think. That's not really for me to say. Celta's recent struggles have them 17th in that league of form table. Is this a chance to pile on the misery? We should be in a position to beat them, but we'll still have to work hard for sure. Celta Vigo away. So it's going to start with us playing with what looks like a beach ball. Victor Ruiz to Castrovilli. Interesting ball forward. Doesn't find anyone in a green and white shirt. Fakia. What can he do? Is he going to go all the way? Fakia just wide. In those positions, Fakir is brilliant usually. He'll score goals, he'll set things up. We did try and play him on the right-hand side, which worked, but not as well. Here's Kyle George, great chance, Ruben Blanco with the save. Fakir to take it. Ball in. Here's Bergwijn. Emerson. And he crosses it in. Castrovilli. Ball from Emerson. Mario gets rid of it. Here's Moreno, who's been fantastic, by the way. As much as we laugh at him. I mean, just as I'm saying that, he loses the ball. Fakia. Kyle George, Teo. Moreno. They're playing it around. Emerson with the chance, and Emerson with the goal. Great start for Betis. See it again. Lovely little bit of football. Moreno's pass to Castrovilli. Bergwijn slips it in with the reverse pass to Emerson. And it's Celta nil. Betis won. Emerson's throw finds for Kia. Castrovilli. Back to Emerson. Good cross in. Herrera. Just wide. He's been brilliant when he's, since he's come in. He's only played two games, but he's been really, really good in both of those games. And there you see Betis winning. We'll put them second. Is for Kia's cross. And Mark Barcher over the bar. For Kia. Inside to Herrera. Kyle Jorge. He's done really well this season. Been very, very happy with his development. Here's Moreno. Herrera's headed off the bar and Kyle George is there to give Betis a second. And like I was saying, he scored goals at important moments for us. That brings us to half time then. 2 0 up at the break. Everything going swimmingly. Bergwijn driving from deep. Goes beyond his man. Can he finish? Ruben Blanco, big save. Fakia corner, which will come to... Oh, it's a header from Teo. Well, I think that's the first time we've actually seen a corner come to something. Teo's header. Blanco can't keep it out. Celta nil. Betis three. Surely job done. Couple of changes coming on. Lainez coming on. As well as Sergio Canales. Just trying to keep everybody fit. I can't believe how well we've done with keeping Fakir fit. Keeping him fit for the rest of the season is going to be the key to us getting anywhere, really. 
who've looked really good in this game. And here's Teo. Can he get the fourth? Good save, Blanco. Going to drop to a little bit of cautiousness. Try and make sure that we get a clean sheet. That would be a massive, massive plus for the club. Castrovilli. There's Lainez who's just come on. Emerson. Can he cross it? Good tackle from Adam. Don't like the fact that this highlight's gone on so long. Here's Fedea. Big chance. And he puts it wide. And there's the whistle then. Real Betis making Celta look extinctly average. I think we're the masters of our own destiny. Pundits are suggesting that the players will suffer from overconfidence. I don't think so. No overconfidence here. Barcelona boss spotted at Balaidos. Right, we'll come back for the Barcelona game in six days' time. So transfer deadline day is done and we've made a couple of deals. The first one going out, Diego Lainez has gone on loan to Monterrey. He's a good player. He's a wonder kid on the game. I'm sure he's going to be big for us. Right now, he's probably not good enough. And we needed to make room for someone. And that someone is Nicolas Pepe. I don't know, understand why this has happened. But we've signed him for 5 million. Plus 15 million after 50 games. So we'll have to pay that next season at some point, more than likely. I think he's brilliant. I, I don't understand how Arsenal have spent 72 million on him in 2019. All right, he didn't hit the ground running. They've barely even tried him this season. And now he's at Batiste. I just think he's a brilliant player. I just think he's perfect for that right-hand side. I think he'll score goals. I think he'll create things. I think he's going to be a brilliant player. And I'm excited to see how he does. And that brings us into the big one then. Real Batiste against Barcelona. Couple of changes for you then. So Martin Montoya will come in against his former club. Emerson can't play because he's on loan from there. Bartra and Ruiz keep their places at centre-back. Victor Ruiz refusing to sign a new contract at the club. Will join Real Sociedad at the end. I think that's a big shame. I think he's a really good player. I think he'll be a good player for a couple of years as well. It means we're going to have to do some business in the summer. Alberto Moreno keeps his place at left back. He's been quite decent, to be fair. Six assists in 18 appearances. I think he's done well. Castrovilli and Herrera in central midfield. Nicolas Pepe gets his debut on the right-hand side. Fakia in the middle. Bergwijn on the left. And Kyle George up front. Kyle George, 12 goals in 18 appearances for the club. I think he's working out quite nicely. Daniel Sturridge just hasn't been given much of an opportunity yet. Yeah, let's go and get revenge. La Liga's best defence. Interesting. Right, let's get into it. Here's Montoya. Gives it to Pepe. What can he do on his debut? Here's Fakia. Castrovilli. Needs options. Finds Moreno. Alberto Moreno. Oh, off the inside of the post. I have no idea how that doesn't go in. Here's Herrera. Fakia. What a player this lad is. Good ball to Pepe. Oh. That would have been a stunning start. Fakia on to Bergwijn. Cross. Oh, that's brilliant. Kaio Jorge. Kaio Georgi. Whatever you want to call him. Betis 1. Barcelona 0. Lovely start as well. Fakia there. Excellent ball to Bergwijn. Great ball across. And that man Kaio putting Betis in front against Barcelona. What a huge result this will be if we do beat them, as you can see on the, on the screen in front of you. If we beat them today, then even with their game in hand, they can't catch us. This could be a huge moment in Batista's season. Alba's throw in. Won by Castrovilli, but Alba has it back. Gives it straight away to Fakia. Fakia, will he look inside? He beats his man. Fakia, great save, keeper. Such an exciting player. Corner ball. And Kayo tried to catch it, unfortunately. Alba to take the corner. Herrera wins it. Kayo has it. Can he beat his man? Pepe's on the right. Cross it now. Fakia's there in the middle. And it's 2-0. And Real Betis. Oh, they, they just look fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know. I've got no words. But Kyle George, once again, involved. He's got two men to aim for. He finds Fakia. Good finish. Bottom corner. Betis 2. Barcelona 0. Seems to motivate Come on, Pepe. Here's Herrera. He's got options. Kyle George. Pepe! Oh, what a save from Ter Stegen. Pepe's looking really good already. 
for Kia wins it. That's a good tackle. Here's De Jong. Dembele. I don't think he played in the first game against us. He might have come off the bench. Here's Sergio Roberto. And once again, Batiste can break. Kyle George. Beat your man. He's got no options in the box. He's going to have to go alone. He finds Bergwijn. Fakia! Oh, this lad. Nabil Fakia. Unbelievable player. And the front, the front four, let's say, just look absolutely fantastic today. Pepe's look good as well. In his first outing for Batiste. And they are 3-0 up against Barca. Maribe. Back to Firpo. Chance to cross it in for Barca. Diego Costa over the bar. Well, that was a mistake by him rejecting us this season. Could this be back to back clean sheets for Betis? It's the last chance, 30 seconds to go. Nice little play there in the midfield. Here's Pepe. Ball into Kyle George. Tries to chip the keeper. It's over the bar, but that should be that. And it is. Betis 3, Barcelona 0. What a result this is. And it wasn't even a scrappy win. We absolutely battered them there. Fakir, man of the match. Pepe got a seven as well. Pepe did really well on his debut. Just a good performance across the team. So look at that run of form. Forget about the Copa del Rey. That's five La Liga wins on the spin. Really, really good form since the turn of the year. Since we've only got league games to play now, this season will probably be a little bit short, but let's... Let's try and make it a little bit longer. So the next time we'll come back is the home game against Valencia in March. We'll play the home game against Valencia and the home game against Huesca. So four games to play off camera. Once again, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I think it's really, really working well. The Betis formation, the way that we're playing at the minute is absolutely fantastic. But next up is Athletic Bilbao and they were really good at the beginning of the season. So it's going to be a tough game. Obviously, we'll bring highlights of that when we come back. Thank you again for watching. Up the Betis. See you next time.